This is the second in a series of short videos indicating or demonstrating how to do the geometric construction assignment in AED 105, which is the CAD graphics class. We're using traditional construction techniques here, even though we're using AutoCAD for it. The kinds of things that people would have done at one time, holding a compass in their hand with a lead on one leg and a pointer or a point in the other. What we need to do here and is to um, create a construction layer, do different colors, and then draw your geometry on an object layer. So you can see we've got a construction Def points is the dimension layer, we have the object layer and layer 0. Leave layer 0 alone, put all your objects on an object layer, give the thickness a 0.5, and then make a construction layer of a different color. We've done the um, number 1, so what we're going to do next is drawing lines at any angle that is not horizontal or vertical. What I'm going to do is just copy those two lines right there, just bring them over here like so. I'm going to kind of go in, and what I'm going to do now is just to make them a little longer. And you can see I'm kind of randomly changing what they look like. So what I want to do is connect those two with an arc. The arc, as indicates right there, has to have a radius of 2. I'm going to do a radius of 1, um, just because of the size of the geometry I created. It's the same technique. So the first thing I'm going to do, if I want a radius of 1, is to create a line parallel to this one, 1 inch away. Another line parallel to this one, 1 inch away, because where they cross will be the only point on the sheet of paper that it's exactly one inch from both lines. I'm going to use the offset command to do that. Offset has an option called layer. If I type alpha layer, C for current, my current layer is a construction layer. Anything I offset will be put on the current layer. I'm going to type 1 for my offset distance. Now I pick this line, offset it up, pick that line, offset it down. Where they cross is one unit from here and one unit from there. Now if I were to draw a line that went from that intersection, perpendicular to that line right there, from that intersection, perpendicular to this line right here. That has to be my tangency because the tangent appears at a location on the straight line that is perpendicular to the center of the arc that is tangent to it. If I draw a circle now from this intersection and I give that circle a radius of 1, you'll see that it passes right through that point, right through that point. Those are my two tangent points. I can use the AutoCAD trim command, pick my two object lines, trim that circle back to it. Now go back and use the trim command again, select my construction arc, trim those two back, and now I have an, a line transitioning through a tangent point to an arc, transitioning back through a tangent point to a line. I'll now use the match layer button and say let's take that object right there and match its layer to this one. There's my uh, object construction and I can then go back and uh, turn off the layer uh, or freeze a layer called construction and just be left with my uh, my geometry.